Tonight, the Environmental Protection Agency is releasing detailed results of testing for PFAS in drinking water nationwide. These so-called forever chemicals are found in a variety of products and are now known to increase the risk of cancer. New size Caleb Perney combed through the data to find out what's in our water. I dug through more than 700,000 lines of data, part of nationwide testing, which continues through 2025. The numbers include testing through April the 11th of this year, about a third of the total results. There are likely over 200 million Americans who are exposed to PFAS in their drinking water, and these results really support those findings. Uh, and what these results help to tell us is just how truly necessary some of the new federal standards for PFAS and drinking water truly are. Those new standards limiting the chemicals in drinking water were announced after the testing results were released and do not take effect until 2029. The testing includes 22 utilities in our region. For all but three of them, PFAS levels were below the minimum reporting level. When Johnson City got its results in April, officials told us the low numbers are likely because of where we get our water. Most of them pull water from the upper reaches of the watershed. I think most of us stand a better chance of not finding the compounds at a level that would require treatment. The places where PFAS was found in drinking water, Kingsport, Bloomingdale, and Irwin. In Kingsport, one of 60 samples came back at 5.9 parts per trillion, which is above the four parts per trillion limit. A subsequent test was below the reporting minimum. In Bloomingdale and Sullivan County, one of 20 samples came back higher than the new limits, but two subsequent results were below the reporting minimum. And in Irwin, two of the 20 samples were above the minimum minimum reporting level and one above the federal limit. Experts recommend filters if PFAS is found in your water. A countertop filter or under the sink or whole house, uh, all these options are available to reduce PFAS levels in your drinking water. Caleb Bernie, News 5, WCYB. We reached out to each of the utilities with elevated results. We're still waiting for a response.